much so. I'd like to have got out this afternoon, uh, but this is the weather's going to beat us. Even this morning, uh, I think you know, you know, I can feel now we're starting to get into it. My name's Richard Hayes. I've been in Fiordland here since 1975 when I first started flying for Tim Wallace help on helicopters in those days it was and we were on deer recovery this is long before we started the capture period uh, mid 80s we started into the commercial work what, what we do now on the uh, transportation of uh, people charter boats uh, firefighting crayfish industry so filming all the lord of the rings and so there's sort of not much we haven't done and uh, with what you can utilize an aircraft for the, well, the wild animal recovery that we've always done all our life has had a, uh, a major hit because of um, the, the markets into Europe haven't been there, um, with the restaurants closing down and countries into lockdowns. So anything that we can develop here from here on in, uh, in a partnership, is an absolute plus. And of course the ripple effect of that goes from right on through into the, you know, as I said, the, the conservation side of it, the healthiness of the forest, the healthiness of the animal, especially the Wapiti area, the trophy potential in here and it attracts people in here as well. Um, the weather is a big issue for us in aviation and the weather is a big issue for people that want to go and enjoy the place. You know, we've got a lovely day here today but it's not always like this. You know, quite often it's an inch an hour of rain here, 25 mils would be falling right where we're sitting here at the moment. It always has the last laugh if you want to lose respect for it or think you know it all. But I guess that's the draw card of this place and it's got its own magic and it uh, it never goes away. The longer you're, you are here, the more, it, um, the more it gets under your skin. It's like a magnet, like I said to you before, you'll be back.